The magic behind playing PlayStation 3 games on a Windows 10 computer is the RPCS3 emulator. RPCS3 is an open source PlayStation 3 emulator that has been out since 2012 and has received constant updates through the years. In the early days of the emulator, it struggled to even open games, but so much progress has been made that over half of all PlayStation 3 games are playable. To see what games are playable, I'll put a link in the description so you can see if the games you want even work before we get started. But before we begin the tutorial, let's see if you can even use the emulator. The RPCS3 emulator is extremely intensive to run. The most important thing is the processor of your computer. You need a really fast processor to be honest. Numerous form posts online say you should really only use the top of the line processors such as the Intel 9700K or the Ryzen 7 3800X. But there are other posts that say mid-range processors like the Ryzen 5 3600X may be enough. The recommended requirements according to the official RPCS3 website essentially says you should have a minimum of 6 cores and be relatively new. On the graphics card side, it's a lot less intense. I mean the website essentially says have a graphics card. I'd say at least a mid-range that has been made in the past 5 years will do just fine. Finally, but not least, you should have at least 8GB of RAM, but the more the better. Okay, now that we know we should be able to play the games we want to play, let's actually start doing stuff. First, let's download the emulator itself. On the download page of the official website, there's a blue download button for the most recent build of the emulator. Just save this to your computer, and as you can see, it's going to be a 7-zip file. If you don't have 7-zip installed, you can go to 7-zip.org and simply download the program and install it in about 5 clicks. Anyways, right click the 7-zip folder we downloaded and extract the files to anywhere you want. I just send it to my downloads folder, but you can create a custom folder if you want. Now we have the emulator application that we can open, however, it won't quite work just yet. Since we are Simulating an actual PlayStation 3 console, we need the actual system files. Lucky for us, Sony actually has a web page that you can find on the Twitch start section of RPCS3.net that has the files. Like all things, just click the blue download button to download the .pup file. I place the file on my desktop for the ease of use. To install the firmware, in the emulator, go to File and Install Firmware. Then you have to select the .pup file we just got. This will install the formula to the emulator. After it installs, the emulator will start to compile the PPU module. Just let it do its thing, but it may take a couple minutes depending on your computer. Finally, one more thing we have to download and install is the Visual Studio C++ 2019 redistributable. If you played other games on your computer or done other tasks, there's a solid chance you already have this installed, but I would say install it right here just to make sure. Just like the PlayStation files, just click the button on the Twitch start section and save the executable, then run it. Agree to the terms and install it. This will only take a couple seconds. So that's it. You installed the RPCS3 emulator. Now you can play a variety of games such as Skate 3 or Persona 5. This emulator mostly just works. By default, any controls you have connected to your system are automatically set up, but if you don't like the controls, you can change them. Generally, just launch a game and it works, kind of. If it doesn't quite work, there are tons of settings in the config section that can change the resolution or anti-aliasing or many other settings. Just a little tip, I found using the Vulkan option in the GPU config tab is the best for performance, but generally if you hover over most settings, it will tell you if it will improve the performance of your system. When you first launch a game, you will have to compile some PPU modules for the specific game, so be patient, let it do its thing. I believe when the game does open, it still has to compile the shaders. This means the performance will be pretty bad for the first little bit. I mean, just look at my computer struggling to play the opening animation since the shaders weren't compiled. I recommend just standing up and walking away from your computer for a couple minutes, and when you come back, it'll be ready to play. But if you got in this far, you probably realize I stepped over a very major factor about emulating on any level. It's the games. Getting games is one of the more complicated parts of this subject, simply due to more and regulations. I thought about including a link to a state 3 game, but I figured that would be breaking a questionable amount of laws by distributing a file like this, and morally, I will not. I'm sorry. However, I will supply you with useful information. If you do have a physical PlayStation 3 and games with it, and a Blu-ray drive, you can actually dump the games to your computer. The RPCS3 website goes in depth about this. And this is by far the most legal way to get your games on your computer. If legality doesn't matter to you, generally you can type in doodle your game PS3 ISO and find many different results. But I warn you, if you did a virus or something wrong with your computer, it isn't my fault buddy. You shouldn't be pirating games in the first place, but that's a risk many people take. Whatever way you get your games, I won't judge. To install them, just drag and drop the game folder into the emulator and it will be connected. Then you can just double click it to start it and you're playing the game. And that's essentially it. If you have any problems, try to fiddle with some of the settings, go to Google to see if anyone else has the same issues. 
person in the comments or me or someone else can help you. This is pretty cutting edge technology, so don't expect it to be absolutely perfect. Have fun playing the PlayStation 3. Uh, thanks for watching, my dudes. If you liked this video, like it. If you didn't, okay, I'm sorry. Subscribe, maybe? I right, see you guys.